I believe the 30 year mortgage rate, right? One quoted by Mortgage Business Daily or whatever it's called, Mortgage Daily. Uh, I think it will be under 6% by the end of August. How does that feel? Does that feel crazy? Or do you think it might be possible too soon? What do you think? No, I don't, I don't think that's too soon. I think, uh, you know, the average 30 year fixed right now, and I checked this morning before walking into this, was at like 629, right? Oh, and that's wow. just 62, be- yeah. Yeah. So, I think it's like I said earlier, it's going to be a, a snail race down um, to, to get b- to below six. But I do think that's very you know possible. I'd probably put it at a maybe a 60, 65 percent chance it's below six in August. Yeah. What do you think, Jonathan? No, I I, um, I would have to agree. But, you know, I do. All, obviously, I'm always the one giving disclaimers. Right. Yeah. Don't go out there um, thinking that just because the you know rate came six that you know now you got to refi everything and it's probably not the best time for you to refi even if it did come down a little bit um so because i know that we get calls every single time when yahoo finance or bloomberg yeah. or says rates are down uh, yeah. do i gotta do i have to refi like can i change my rate all that you know i obviously even if it comes down like a quarter percent half a percent it's not really worth you know, the trouble of refinancing or paying all those extra closing costs again. And the payment difference in reality is not that much. It's like maybe 50, maybe 100 bucks. So um, that's something to keep in mind. Even if the rates, like you hear the world going, oh, rates are coming down. Um, it really just sit down with, you know, someone like us or whoever you use and really figure out, is it actually worth it for you guys to, to bring it down? Because the last two years was about getting the asset, securing the asset, right? right? Correct. And so now that you've secured the asset, the important part is even if the rate come down, is it actually worth it for you to make a move or is it not? Right. In a lot of cases, if you've done something in the last two years, even if it's like 8% or 7.5%, um, you know, on a non QM side, it's not going to be really, uh, I don't think, beneficial even if the rates do come down, which, you know, obviously potentially will come, might come down, but we never know. No one knows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's go why up. you got to work. work you got to work with professionals like yourself. Reach out to them. See, see, see what makes sense. Do the math. 